everyone this is asmrf today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you skin retouching and how to delete the blemishes and the noise from the image in this image you are getting too much noise and how to reduce that so output is like that before one was like that this one was the non-edited image and after one you are getting like that so what i have done here let's see here I have done lots of things uh, not really lots of things but uh, some things uh, which is for the plugins and other stuff so at first I have done the skin smoothing that is with the skin finer and I have another detailed video of the skin finer if you want to get that video link please check out my video description and then I just got the skin that is the uh, dodge and burn I just applied here the light portion and the preset as well and then here the eye enhancement and then the color of the eyebrows and here the color lookup another color lookup of this and then again I just got the light of the face so after that I used a preset from the Nick collection, the, the another filter, and finally got that. So I used here three or four steps or three or four types of techniques, and which will make your photography ultimately good. So this one was the non edited and after one you are getting this one. So if you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. And let's start the tutorial. Here I'll go to the file and open up at first this one i'll import this one and open it up in my photoshop panel here so after that i'll make copy by pressing ctrl j for the backup layer and here i'll use at first the smooth skin that is the filter with the filter here the filter and the photo rule box and skin finer if you want to get the download link and the full video of the skin finer detail video actually i have another video tutorial you can watch that out and i'll give you that link in my video description so the setup will be here the amount of sharpening and smoothing and here the skin tone so i'll make it plus 73 and the fine will be 13 12 that's fine and skin color if you want to increase the hue like that or you can change the hue like that so i will make it like this yeah that's fine and here the saturation i will make it a little bit desaturated minus 18 that is good and brightness i'll increase a little bit and contrast as well so contrast for the shadow and highlight actually and here is the manually shadow and highlight so i'll increase the shadow that is the plus four and highlight and increase that a little bit yeah plus 10 that's good and hit the ok button so it will load it up and give you the output so it's taking the time here is the loading ribbon so let's wait for that adding the skin smoothing i'll add the preset which is for the color correction so i'll make copy by pressing ctrl j and then go to the filter and the camera raw filter you know camera raw filter is the plugins of the photoshop creative cloud version and those who are the user of the cs version they can use this one that means the camera raw filter i'll give the manual setup link in my video description please check it out and i made a preset for you guys and i'll give you that preset download link in my video description as well so go to the preset options and load settings options here i made the preset that is the skin name and open it up yeah just it will load it up so what i have done here i just let's see the before one and after one so before one was like that and i just made the color correction like that so and let's see or uh, let's check it out what i have done here so let's see the settings here in this panel now the basic panels i just add some shadow and here the tone blue tone i just tone curve i just made it like that here is the spot and here is the point lock point and green portion i just made it like that and red portion this one like that and from here i just added the amount of sharpening a little bit you can use that and the luminance as well and the here i use this thing that is for the noise reduction and i use the color luminance you can use that and the color smoothness 
and the detail so if you make the color smoothness it will just make your photograph uh, noise free so you can use this portion and luminance of noise reduction as well so these two things for the noise reduction are uh, here i use some little bit changes nothing serious and here the camera calibration i have done something here so i got this output from this preset and hit the ok button so after adding the preset you will get another output so that's fine yeah the noise just gone 85 percent not all noise if you just uh, demolish the all noise and uh, your photograph could be spoiled okay fine then just i'll make copy and make group these two layers and make it merge after merging that i'll add some color lookup go to the adjustment layer and color lookup options from here i'll use the futuristic list this one and then i'll make the fill options that is 10 or 20 percent yeah that is 17 percent that's good and then select these two things make it group and make it match and after that go to the adjustment layer again and then you can use the photo filter so how to use that go to the solid color choose a filter that is any kind of color and go to the blending mode make it soft light so change the color suppose i want to make it like this these or this so choose your favorite color tone and just add in your photo so in this photo i'll use this type of color so you can use that yeah this one is good and hit the ok button and then select these two things make it group and make it match now i will increase the shadow and highlighting that is the dodge and burn option so press ctrl j and j two things two layers actually so one is for the highlight another one is for the shadow so i'll turn the shadow layer off and select the highlight layer and go to the blending mode make it like screen mode so after that go to the right press blending options from here here is the underlining layer and find out the highlight area of the face yeah i got it and then yeah that's fine and press the alter button and select here the slider will divide and adjust the light with this face so yeah that's good and that's fine and hit the ok button and then here is the mask option mask it and here is the image options and go to the apply image options and hit the ok button so after that select this layer that means turn it on the shadow layer and go to the multiply blending mode and right press blending options and here is the underlining layer and i'll get the shadow from this layer divide the slider and adjust the light shadow with that and hit ok so after that mask it and go to the image and apply image so in this case i'll make it invert and hit ok so i'll got two layers h and a so then i'll make it group shadow and highlight actually and make it mask and then image again apply image so in this case i'll make it just uncheck the invert option and hit ok so you'll get the subtle change of your image the shadow and highlight is prominent here so select these two layers make it group and make it merge after merging that i'll go to the filter that is the nick collection i'll add another effects actually so google nick collection is another plugins and if you want to get the download link of this google nick collection please check out my video description i'll give that link in my video description so always i do give the stock files and other plugins downloading in my video description so you should check it out my video description for the stocks and other resource file okay fine here a bunch of presets and other like filters so from here i am using the cross processing and lots of methods over here you can use one of them so which one is perfect for your photography you have to define or you have to choose it out so i'll use here l03 and here is the strength option i'll make it 35 percent okay you can use as your own photograph like that that's fine and here is the opacity and shadow and highlight if you need you can change it out uh, in this case i'm not changing this out and hit ok so it will take time to load it up and give you the output so this one is like a heavy type of plugins and uh, the 
it depends on the pc configuration is if your pc configuration is not high don't use these plugins just because of it will make your pc super slow so from here i'll decrease the fill options a little bit yeah that's good that's fine and go to the adjustment layer again and i'm going to the levels from here i'll adjust the light and other things so from here i should use the ease like that so that's good that's fine and from here i'll make it a little bit yeah that's good and let's see the before one before one was like that image and here the you are getting the polish type image so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you need to download the plugins and other stuffs like presets and uh, kind of uh, plugins for the photoshop you can check out my video description i'll give the all download link over there and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i am asmr signing out today bye bye